So let's get into it, y'all. Let's have this conversation. I know it's been a while since we did a cook and chat with me. Okay? <laughs> I'm still out of breath. Okay? But that don't stop nothing. Alright? That don't stop nothing. Alright? So tonight we are making a beef alfredo pasta because that's what my mama wanted. But I had to get this off my chest. Okay? Because y'all know... <laughs> Y'all know how it be. Y'all know how it be. Y'all know how it be. Hold on. We'll be right back. Yo, welcome back to Die TV. It's your girl, Elder. If this is your first time tuning in, I welcome you with love, hugs, and kisses. Mwah. But in order for you to be my cousin, I need you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Yes. Then I need you to go ahead and thumbs up. All right. Then I need you to light up the comment section with hashtag Die Cousin Gang. And you'll officially be my cousin, okay? Those of you that's been rocking with your girl, y'all already know Shaggy Bam. Whoosh. Bam, bam, whoosh, bam. <coughs> but we be like, welcome back, back, hey, back, back, hey. So y'all, we is back with another one. All right, we is lit. Okay, and we gonna have this conversation. All right. So with that being said, y'all, I am at my mama house. All right, um, she wanted beef alfredo pasta. I told you next one, right? Leave me alone. Hmm. We got your ear piece. Let's see if it's. Y'all see that ear piece? Y'all see it? Okay. So, um, y'all, I want to get this off my chest, for real. So, that's why I said let's talk about it, okay? Um, for my real cousins, um, you know, some people know, some people don't. It is what it is. It's all right. It's okay, right? We're still going to love people anyway. Um, we're going to talk about... to come to a place where I had to accept accept it because it is what it is and the Holy Spirit um let me tell you the dangers about always looking the good in someone or looking for good in a situation and not accepting it for what it is. It can leave you in a bound place. It can leave you in a place where you continue to get hurt, right? Because we're too busy looking for the good, right? Because we want to walk like Jesus, be like Jesus, right? But what we fail to understand even Jesus accepted things for, um, you know, let it be what it be. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, he checked the Pharisees a couple of times. You get what I'm saying? But guess what? When they didn't want to take heed, guess what? It is what it is. He left them right where they were at. And this is what we got to do with people, places, and things. It is what it is. All right? And... When we continue to try to look for the good in the situation, then we continue to make excuses, right? Then when we get hurt, we want to get mad at God. How are we going to get mad at God, right? When God had already shown you, right? Because the Holy Spirit will show you something by way of dream, by way of vision, right? And we don't want to accept it. Right? Because we'll be like, oh, no, nah, that was my emotions. Um, you know, oh, I'm in my feelings or I'm only thinking like that because somebody said something. Right? But when are we going to come to the realization and the reality that what you saw, what the Holy Spirit revealed, what God said, it is what it is. Right? Because warning 
um, God, God, when you, when you, when we say, let me put it like this, we, as a friend of God, right, he doesn't leave us in the dark. No, he doesn't, right? So he showed you, but once again, because, you know, the Lord showed you, um, or revealed to you how this person really feel concerning you, right? Or the Lord has showed you how that situation could trap you. The Lord has showed you. The Holy Spirit has revealed to you how, you know, that that the being at that place, you're not going to be prosperous, right? Um, but because we're so emotionally um, intoxicated, right, or mentally intoxicated, you know what I'm saying? We begin to make excuses we begin to be like no nah, that ain't it right and we begin to try to justify the situation and y'all i got to a place where i had to put the boundaries up where i had to say enough is enough right because it's like how many times you gonna keep giving somebody the benefit of the doubt what you waiting to you waiting for yourself to get hurt you waiting, you're waiting to, to, to get hurt in order for you to get it. What, what are you, what exactly are you waiting for? And I know, I know y'all can relate to this cousins. I know y'all can relate to this. I know y'all can relate to this. Because you probably dealing with a situation by way of a person, by way of a place, by way of a struggling sin, whatever it is, right? <coughs> you get what I'm saying? And we're trying to justify it in a manner, right? Well, we got to look at or will we try to keep it in our life one way or another. And guess what? It's causing you harm. Guess what? It's causing you your peace. Guess what? It's causing you confusion. Guess what? It's making you tired. Guess what? It's depleting you. Right? So this is why we're titling this. It is what it is. So, all right, Can let I me finish. N no, let me finish because I told you next video. Oh. So, stop it. So, it's depleting you, right? Why can't you accept it for what it is, right? And for me, I had to look and realize that, you know what? I have to protect my peace. Mm -hmm. I have to protect my peace and I have to protect those that are connected to me. So I'm going to have to love you from over there. Right? Neither will I place myself in an environment that will cause me my peace or make me uncomfortable. Right? So I have to set these boundaries. I have to accept it because it is what it is. Hello. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Hold on, cousins. Let me let me talk to y'all cousin that disappeared on me for months now, and then all of a sudden want to call me. So we'll be right back. But we will finish this conversation, even though I may be done cooking. Okay. Hold on. That was good, that was good, that was good. So I'm talking to my sister and I was basically telling her the same thing I'm telling y'all. And the Holy Spirit was like, sometimes we're too busy looking for the good that we miss the warning signs, right? And how people treat you, how people talk to you, how people handle you, right? shows you how they feel concerning you what is the what what standard they hold you to um what is their perspective of you and when people show you that believe them believe them believe them and i would say one thing 
um, that Elder Aunt Chancy ain't doing no more is justifying or making excuses for you, okay? And neither will I continue to allow um, individuals to treat me in such a manner, right? So when I say I hold my distance, I hold my distance because, you know, I was talking to another good friend and it was just like, yo, like I had to check myself. I had to check myself. So with that being said, if the person, if the place, if the thing is not respecting you, is not respecting you or adding to you, right? If it's depleting you, right? If it's if it's if it's interrupting your peace, if it's interrupting your peace of mind, if it's um not adding to you, right? Listen, it's okay for you to set the boundaries. It's okay for you to set the boundaries. All right. It's so, so now if if it's not adding to you, if it's not respecting you, if it's causing you your peace, it's making you uncomfortable or it's draining you. Listen, it's so you set your boundaries okay enough is enough all right stop looking good in a situation that's causing you to miss the warnings where it's causing you not to see how um how it's affecting you or how they're treating you or how it adds no value to you all right it is what it is cousin it is what it is all right the holy ghost have been revealing the holy ghost has been showing god has been speaking right but because we're so naive and we don't want to accept what it is um that god is showing us then we start digging and looking for a good or looking for an excuse or looking for a way to justify it, it ain't no more of that it ain't no more of that there is no more of that it is what it is all right and listen I want y'all to comment below if you if you if you really understand what I am saying, okay? If you really understand what I am saying, how people approach you, how they talk to you, how they deal with you, um, how they make certain comments to you, it shows you how they feel concerning you. And I'm sorry, mbabashte figimun. All right, I had to get real Haitian. Mpap ashtifigi moon. Okay? You don't like me, that's fine, but you're going to respect me. Period. I don't, I, don't, I don't have to pass through your yard to get to heaven. I don't have to knock on your door to get to God. I don't. Neither do you have a heaven or a hell to put me in. But what I am going to say is, you better watch your mouth. <laughs> you, better watch your, you better watch your mouth. And I say that humbly i really say that humbly watch your watch how you talk about me behind closed doors because god don't play about this one god don't play about this one and i will not allow bitterness to go into my heart and neither will i be petty but one thing's for sure when a prophet cry before god when a prophet cries out to god that's it and please don't push me to that place because you push me to that place it's done it's over it's over but it is what it is it is what it is <laughs> but go ahead y'all i love y'all be blessed be encouraged um and remember i told y'all i was gonna be done cooking because i was talking to sis and i'm about to call her back so we can finish our conversation but i love you cousin be blessed be encouraged and remember you got victory on every side said i'm going off the deep end are you ready am i ready to be party friends hey i need more than